Good evening and welcome to Your Call. It's the one show on Indian television where you, the viewer, can also join in. You can ask your questions to the newsmaker of the week. You can write to us. You can access us through social networking sites. And you can just go across to our broadcast vans in our major cities. This week, our newsmaker of the week is a very special person, Foreign Secretary Nirupama Rao. She's the point person coordinating the safe rescue of thousands of Indians stranded in Libya. As we speak, already over two-thirds are back safely. Recognizing the importance of this mission this week on Your Call, this will be our main focus. Thank you so much, ma'am, for joining us tonight on the show. Thank you. Tell us the latest update. Over two-thirds are expected to be back safely by the end of this weekend. What's the current status? The current status is that evacuation, which began on the 26th of February, has really moved uh, quite very satisfactorily. And uh, we have had 25 flights. In fact, we've established an air, air bridge, mm -hmm. as it were, between Delhi, Mumbai, and Tripoli, as also between Cairo and uh, Delhi, Mumbai. And also today, uh, we have flights from Tunis also. That's really good news. After a first few days of what seemed to be confusion and chaos when we weren't really sure how soon operations would get going. I mean, in fact, at that time, through Twitter, through phone calls, we got many Indians saying, help us, we've got no way to get out. Do you think we started slowly? Not at all. Uh, you know, it's almost like, uh, you know, going into battle, as it were. For instance, when our uh, nationals were evacuated from Benghazi by ship. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, we had uh, cases of some other countries, I won't name them, where you had pictures of people on the boat, on the, on the ship they were for two, three days because flights were not available, even after they had right. docked mm -hmm. at the destination. In our case, we arranged the flights. Uh, the 1,100-odd passengers on the first ferry from Benghazi mm -hmm. were gotten onto flights immediately and, and flown home. So there was no, this, no, no kind of delay of that nature. So I think um, uh, the people of India, I'm sure, will understand uh, the amount of work that has gone into this. And mm -hmm. our officials, particularly our ambassadors in Tripoli and Cairo, have really worked round the clock. And I think they have been profiles of dedication. Well, let's go across uh, to our first uh, phone call of the evening. This is uh, uh, by from a doctor, Dr. Sabita, who actually joins us from uh, Sirte in Libya. Uh, we can go ahead with that question, doctor. The Indian government is telling that uh, uh, Libyan authorities have not granted them permission mm -hmm. for, uh, for either the planes or the ships to come to Sirte. So how can planes from Syria, Russia, and Egypt have come to, they can come to Sirte? We would like to know the exact, the exact situation, what is going on. Now, Sirth has been a particular focus uh, of our efforts to get our people out from there. But what we were told, and uh, you know, our ambassador has to believe what the Libyans uh, tell her, mm -hmm. we cannot just send ships and planes without clearance. Uh, they have told her that the airspace over Sirth is closed. So you and so other countries are going in without this clearance? No, but this is, I mean, I, I have no information about other countries mm -hmm. going in. It may have been like, you know, a week or 10 days ago, they were permitting mm -hmm. uh, people to, uh, to move in their, their ships and planes and take people out. But I think a lot of uh, here say a lot of rumors are feeding into you know the public discourse mm -hmm. on this issue I will uh, proceed on the basis of fact so uh, my advice would be please listen to the ambassador don't listen to rumors trust in your government and be sure that we'll come to help you let's go across live uh, to Mumbai where Lily Fernandez has a question for you go ahead Lily I would like to thank the Indian government the arrangement was so good uh, that uh, I didn't feel that I'm a refugee over there. The team of Indian Embassy contacted me every now and then, and then uh, they contacted my family. After that, one fine day, I got a phone call from Cairo Embassy that anyhow you reach the border via Tubruk. There, we were welcomed by them, we were looked after. Then next day, the flight was arranged. Even. Uh, two people accompanied us to the airport and from there we were brought to Bahrain. Again, there were people to welcome us. That's 